Hello, folks. It's Saturday, February the, what is it? Second, third, third something like that. We're going polar bear hunting. Somehow they've talked me into going on a fishing journey. And we're headed to Uncle Bob's to get the boat because we don't have a boat big enough to fit three in. Should be in the water by about 12 and hope the fish bite. You know, we'll give it 30 or 40 minutes. If they don't bite, we'll load up and come home. So uh, y'all stick with us. Got my man JD, Johnny D, AKA John, AKA John Daniels, AKA DJ John Daniels, and Clutch, the cameraman. We got Clutch, the cameraman. He said, trust the process. Well, I'm trusting the process. folks uh, we traveled about 20 minutes out here to go get this wonderful three-seater John boat because we got three people you know. and as we were about to load the boat up Bobby Louie stepped out but uh, uh, uh. all right son you get the copyright laws <laughs> and you know I don't mind Bobby Jean I love Bobby Jean to go fishing but we could have avoided this 20 minute drive out here to go get this boat if we just asked Bob to go earlier. But it's all right, it's all right. We, uh, we got all the time in the world. It don't get dark, but uh, six o'clock these days and it's already almost three. So uh, y'all stick with us. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna try to get Bob set up, ready to go. They're gonna try to catch some crappy. Me and Johnny D's gonna try to rip some lips on some biggins. Bob, uh-oh. Come on, I just put the camera up, man. <laughs> No movie star. <laughs> this right here is a crappy fisherman setup. You got your floats on your rods, so that way if you drop them in the water, they float on top of the water. Safety first. And then you got first. your uh, uh, Bobby Doll <laughs> <Okay. laughs> tackle box. Well, folks, we're uh, trying to find minnows in 38 degree weather. So we've got Big Chief driving, and, uh, trying to find some minnows on Chevron on Cartersville Highway. It's See. February the 2nd. We're looking for crackheads. Well, folks, we got Bobby Louie, a.k.a. Blue Ball Bob. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got, got his name messed up. What is it? It's on Smooth Criminal. Oh, yeah, we got Smooth Criminal. <laughs> <laughs> in the uh, in the passenger seat, we got Timbo driving, waiting on Johnny D, I guess. He went to go get oh, him something. Oh, he's moving his truck. Oh. He's, uh, he's moving his truck, and we're about to venture into the unknown. We got a. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be that. <laughs> we got <laughs> the boat in the back with all kinds of crap in it. We got uh, two crappy fishermen, two bass fishermen. We just gonna find out who can catch the most, I guess. Perks jerkers. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> so we got team one called uh, Perks jerkers. <laughs> perks jerkers. Perks jerkers. Uh. Jerk. We jerk. Flat line. They like to jerk that perch up there. And then the team two's I did her outdoors. We got I did her outdoors and perch jerkers. I done did her outdoors. <laughs> done did her. <laughs> we done decided the team names, Johnny D. We got What's the perch jerkers in the front. And we're done did her outdoors. <laughs> having a meeting up there at the camp so uh, we had to carry the g3 and even though she may be only 10 foot she's sturdy so she's pretty stout and as i ventured into my camera bag show the people my miltech camera bag look at that this is the small size and it's perfect for all your camera needs as long as you remember to put the stuff into the bag now me left my sds and my batteries up at the house which is not that far of a drive but still so i took off on a Four, or a 5k runner all the way up to the truck and then uh, made it to the house got the SDs and here we are Kimbo Bobby Jeans done locked into about 15 crappy over there and we're still twisting the chesty around trying to get her good so y'all just stick with us Come on. Now the journey begins. We've already dumped them out, son.
Not tear her all up. Now you got one. Get her. Get her, son. <laughs> Boom. In the sticks, son. They in the sticks. Well, folks, just got this nice little probably four pounder. Just skinny. Real cold. We knew they were gonna be tight to cover, and uh, I just pulled it over a nice stick there. Taylor was trying to get us out of the wind, and uh, I thought I'd just give her a nice tug to it. So I yanked back, had her on there. Taylor thought I was just on a stick, but I knew she was a good one. But just pulled her on up. We're gonna get her going and try and catch this another. I need to get you some tailor made jigs. The man, the myth, the legend. Clutch. This is uh, one of two that I have left right here on the end of my rod. Mm. Yeah. How about that? Grabbing my tails. No, bye. Mm-hmm. Let me just show the folks home what what this is here. I see those lips at the top of his mouth and then in the back of his throat how red they are. I believe that's because they're munching on some crawfish in this red Georgia clay. They gotta get their lips down there because the crawfish they build holes in the side of the in the side of the bank, so I've always heard match the hatch. That's why I'm matching the hatch, as you can see. That's uh, fish number two. We're going to try to put some more in the boat. Got it. Good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. slow out here this is a uh, first fish I've caught I can't remember if I've had a bite since that good one so uh, the jig wasn't doing it so I just picked up the rattle trap and started swimming it we've caught a couple not too many had a couple bites Taylor lost pretty good one on the crankbait goodness gracious there she is there's a little one there's a little one <laughs> 